company and the access to data that comes with it. Dude, okay, I don't know. <laughs> this is so retarded. This is the work. Ignores the widespread data harvest performed by the CC. So, in today's video, we're going to be looking at a commentary documentary type channel called Moon. The video we're going to be looking at today is why do Reddit mods always look like this? Why do they always look the same? You know what I mean? They all have that look. Scruffy, passive aggressive, balding, short sighted, condescending, virtue signaling, sometimes overweight, toothy grin, social lepers. Or in other words, Reddit moderators. I'm really struggling to understand his content here. I generally can't tell if this is satire or he's just brain dead. The people who moderate subreddits. Subreddits at the front page of the internet. I mean, Reddit as a whole has now become the 11th most visited site globally. And the people in charge of Reddit is a powerful clique of Reddit mods and admins. I mean, in 2020, it was revealed that just six of these Reddit mods control 118 of the top 500 subreddits. These are the people who determine what posts are allowed, what comments you can type, what posts are deleted, and what opinions can flourish. It's literally gotten to a point now where mods are deleting 6% of all Reddit posts, with most of these deleted posts being things that go against the beliefs of mods. And if you don't like the mods' actions, you will be banished to the digital gulag, effectively granting these Reddit mods the control of information. But that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, especially with what you're saying. If a Reddit moderator removes my Disney post, I'm not going to be crying about it and thinking they're going to dox me. It doesn't stop that, because Reddit mods are no longer just controlling subreddits, they're now running the most powerful companies in the world. Reddit, Facebook, YouTube. These people are programming our culture and society. Their actions shape our minds. They are inadvertently responsible for many of the political and social trends we see today. I'm sorry, what the actual hell? I generally still can't tell if this guy is being satire and trying to troll, or he generally believes that Reddit moderators are taking over the world. Because either way, it's ridiculous. The sheer fact of it is that he's trying to portray this narrative that Reddit moderators are in some way evil and trying to promote a negative agenda whereas people that just control the media aren't. At this point, why don't you remove the bit about the Reddit moderator? You probably have a stronger argument if you just talk about how corrupt media is in general. And yet the weirdest part of all of this is that these Reddit mods all share that same look. A look that transcends genders and even age groups. Ah, yeah. I forgot this video was about why Reddit moderators look the same. In what world is this video worthy, even if it is a joke? Could it just be that terminally online weirdos are generally apathetic about their physical appearance? Or is there something specific? And even more importantly, how have these people gained so much power? Well, in this video, you'll soon understand that the reason for their distinct look is the reason for their power. And it's ah yes, because Reddit moderators, all they have to be is fat, and that's how they get their power. This just makes no sense, I'm treating this like it should be actually video worthy, but the majority of the evidence used to support this is complete bogus, and I do not know why this has to be turned into a video. The only pattern that there actually is across all social media moderators is the fact they're all chronically online. Their power that is subtly changing the society we live in. Trust me when I say that this entire thing is a rabbit hole. Bit means the fat moderators. They can barely walk, let alone go down a fucking rabbit hole. It was up for grabs, and where some saw freedom, Reddit founder Spez saw possibility, a new world order. So Spez formed a site called Reddit. The goal? Bring together the global population to consolidate control and influence society for profits. Ah yes, because the creator of Reddit was a fucking supervillain. Speaking of profit, did you want to add any more links to your about section that gets you money? No? Alright. Oh, how nice. He even linked his PayPal. With some basic web design, investment backing, and a few backroom deals, and just like that, Spez was in control. He was the first moderator, and in recent years, he's become one of the most powerful moderators in history. A statement which will become very important later in this video. But Why is this man getting treated like he's a war criminal? In what world makes this topic serious enough to have its own documentary type video made on it? Satire or not, this video is just not funny, it's not worth watching, and the only thing that it's good at is editing. The video is very well edited. And that's why this comment on the toxic distress video about Moon has stuck with me. This guy in kind of reminds me of Sunny V2, where they both prioritize high quality editing over good and well researched content. And at the moment, it is clear that's where this channel lacks. It lacks in the comedy. It lacks in just the content. It's not enticing me. It's not doing anything for me. The content is just absolutely ludicrous, but the editing's good. It just makes for a pile of shit that's been decorated nicely. But when you ask this question, the first thing that comes to my mind is that you should just not make any videos in the future. But at least the channel has good editing. And I'm not going to take that away from the poor fella, because it takes some skills to be that good at editing. Oh. What's that? The video we just watched was also edited by another person, an assistant editor. 
Oh well. Ah. Well, at least we can pinpoint the problems with this. It's clearly his bad research. He doesn't do enough. Oh, uh, what's that? Uh, he has an assistant researcher that helps him with the information he finds. All right. Writers should have a strong background in reading and research, as well as journalistic slash story-based writing experience. The experience for writing online video is a plus. The ability to sort through data, blogs, videos, Reddit posts, archives, and condense information into a digestible, engaging script. So does this guy do anything except from lend his voice? and now and again lends some tips on how to do stuff. Well, from the videos I have watched of him and the video I have shown in today's video, I think it's pretty clear that I know what he does lend, and that's his political agenda. He uses either bizarre situations or complete fake situations, brings in a popular topic at that time, and tries to push an agenda. This isn't something that's hard to find in his content, it's smeared all over his videos, and even on his Twitter. You know he does like to make his job easier for himself, and now he's done it for me, he's made my job Easier. I also think in Toxic Distress's video, he reaffirms this point. If is provided of this, there's no evidence on screen. There's not even evidence in the description. Dude, this is blatant bullshit. You can't just claim this crazy, absurd shit like Discord is sneaking into your computer and sending information back to China so Kim Jong-un can fucking nuke us. You can't say that shit and then provide no fucking sources, no evidence, no nothing. And people believe this shit. This video has 70k likes and there's no fucking evidence provided for any of this bullshit. But Moon isn't just trying to push his political agenda. He's trying to scare manga people into basically spreading his videos around to get him views and it looks like a fucking system that's worked